Hello and welcome to this tutorial, quick tutorial hopefully, of GOT7's Zero. Um, it's quite a nice song and easy to learn if you're just picking up and getting started on guitar. I'm starting here on the 6th fret of... I'm in the E standard, first of all, in terms of tuning, so... should sound something like that when you pick up your guitar and ring all the strings. Um, I'm going to be using my middle finger and my ring finger for this initial shape. But I guess, you know, it, it, because this pattern is quite strange and unusual, even though it is simple, I'll just play it, play it for you first if you're not familiar. You should be familiar, but I'll just play it for you first so you can see where my hands are and get an idea of what this pattern is and what this song consists of. <laughs> So that's the pattern I've played twice through there. Um, let's break it down. So I'm starting with, as you saw, I started with this uh, middle finger and my ring, but I guess you can also use your index, and I did sort of swap halfway through playing to my index predominantly. Um, but it's, all re it's really about preference. Um, I find it easier when you're playing two notes in parallel like that um, on the same fret um, to just use my my middle and my ring. So we're on the 6th fret of the E string and the 6th fret of the G string. And then we go down to the 4th fret, just the 4th fret of the E string, just the E string on its own. So, And then we go down to the 1st fret of the E string, we're still just playing the E string on its own. And we shift from that 1st fret to the 2nd fret. Play that again um, with the ring finger on the G string, and the, I've gone back to my uh, middle finger on the sixth fret of the E string. But this time, I swap from these two fingers to taking my middle finger away. I put my index into position, slide down before pressing onto the frets on the 4th fret of the E string, and now we have this accompanying 5th fret on the G string. Okay, so let's go through that again, even even though that's not the whole pattern, that pretty much is the pattern, if you, if you catch my drift, because we've already covered all of the frets we're going to use. And uh, that last little bit of the pattern is just again that same um, same first fret to second fret single note and then two notes on the second fret single note on the first fret two notes on the second fret and then the pattern starts over and that's pretty much the pattern going through the whole song oops I get quite um I get quite used to doing this extra high note, um, but it's not actually in the introduction. It might be further on in the song. As I say, uh, it, it is quite low in the mix, generally, um, so it's quite hard to distinguish, but you can hear it. Um, but initially, you don't play that uh, higher note on the first part of the pattern. So hopefully that's broken it down quite quickly and simply. Um, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try and reply as quickly as I can. And hopefully you get along with learning that song. 